Hi everyone, um, really good to be here and I hope you enjoyed our video that gave you just a little bit of a taste of Tampa Bay. This afternoon I am going to give you a bit more information. I know you've had a lot of information thrown at you already, but hopefully this will be of interest. And there are just a couple of things that I want you to take away from today. Firstly, just how accessible we are. We have daily flights from London Gatwick and London Heathrow and obviously the connectivity that that offers to the rest of the UK. How and why Tampa is a great standalone destination for anyone looking to travel to Florida, but also how we fit in with other Florida destinations, whether that's Orlando and the theme parks or our friends and neighbours on Florida's Gulf Coast. I also wanted to just highlight how we kind of fit for all sorts of travellers, whether that's families, couples, people wanting to take a cruise, luxury lovers, whatever that might be. So bear with me and I'll give you a bit more information now. So Tampa is on Florida's Gulf Coast. We are about an hour's west of Orlando. As I mentioned, we have direct flights with BA flying now coming in later this month daily from um, Gatwick moving up to daily, I should say, um, and daily flights with Virgin Atlantic from London Heathrow. Something to mention here is our airport, Tampa International Airport or TPA is constantly winning awards. It's very welcoming, great service, very friendly, was recently voted the number one large airport in North America. And when you arrive, you will see a 21 foot pink flamingo there statue waiting for you. So it's a great way to start any trip to Florida. Then the next couple of slides are just a couple of maps just to give you an idea more of the downtown area when we're talking about Tampa Bay. I really would encourage you to go to visittampabay.com slash slash map and see our interactive map. It really is a good way to understand the destination a bit more. And here is our um, downtown area in a map that I think really showcases the accessibility of the destination. Tampa International Airport is only seven miles away from the downtown. Literally, you don't need a car when you come to Tampa. You can easily jump in a cab, jump in an Uber, whatever, from the airport. Here on the map, you'll see the range of different hotels that we have in the destination. You can see um, Port Tampa, more of which I'll talk about later. And then there's the, the orange line is um, something we're really proud of and we absolutely love, which is our river walk. It's 2.6 miles long. And as you can see, it connects up a number of our hotels, restaurants, um, attractions that we have, activities, uh, all sorts, all on this, all on the river walk, all very accessible. And we like to say that it links the different activities and attractions like gems on a string. It's a really great place for people to come, come from the airport, you're downtown, and you can start straight away start doing all number of things. 
As you can see, we are a destination on the water. We're a city on the waterfront. And so as you imagine, we've got a huge amount of water activities, whether that's taking a sunset cruise, taking the pirate water taxi, which celebrates our great pirate history, or getting out onto the water itself, whether that's paddle boarding or kayaking, taking an electronic Evo where you can captain yourself and go and explore. There's all sorts to do on the water, um, right from the downtown area, right off of the Riverwalk. Um, the Riverwalk, as I mentioned, is 2.6 miles long. Um, and as well as the restaurants, hotels, we've got some great rooftop bars there. And it's actually bookended by two of our amazing food halls. You have our um, Armature Works at one end, which used to be a streetcar factory, which offers all sorts of fantastic dining. And then at the other end, you have Sparkman Wharf, which is an outdoor food hall with restaurants in sea containers, um, a great bowling green, like all sorts to do there. So I think this just kind of emphasizes some of the fun elements that right, that is right in the downtown of Tampa, easily accessible and great for all sorts of travelers, whether that's families, couples looking for some fun, whatever it might be. Tampa is full of different neighborhoods all across the destination. So offering different activities, different restaurants, hotels, but for history and culture, you really can't beat Ybor City, which is our Cuban neighborhood, spelt Y-B-O-R. So if you ever read that and wonder what it is, that's Ybor City. So um, this all dates back to the 1880s when Tampa was the Cuban cigar capital of the world. And still today, you can discover the Cuban and different heritage um, and history to be found there, whether that's through a walking tour, visiting the J.C. Newman Cigar Factory, where you can still learn how to roll cigars. Um, and of course, discovering and eating a Cuban sandwich. Tampa is home to the Cuban sandwich. This was created for the Cubans, the French, the German, the Italian immigrants who all came to Tampa when we were the Cuban cigar capital of the world. Um, and they, the sandwich was created for all of these different workers so they could sit at their workstations, have their lunch and carry on working. It's absolutely amazing and a must for anyone who visits Tampa Bay. Talking of food, Tampa is absolutely delighted to be one of the three Florida destinations featured in the Michelin Guide to Florida. As you know, Michelin is the world's oldest uh, restaurant ranking system, and there are actually only five destinations in the US with the Michelin Guide. So we're absolutely pleased as punch to be part of this. And currently, um, Tampa has three Bib Gourmand restaurants, which are restaurants that are recognized for their great food and great value, and 16 recommended restaurants. And I think the Tampa food scene is just absolutely kind of showcases what Tampa is as a destination. It's, Im it's innovative, it's diverse, it's accessible, it's welcoming, it's fun. Absolutely, for anyone who loves their food, and we all love our food, Tampa Bay is the place to come. Um, over the last couple of years, 2,500 hotel rooms have been added within Tampa, which is absolutely fantastic. And we've had a real kind of increase in luxury hotels. So we've had our first five-star hotel, the Tampa Edition, which opened in October last year with 127 rooms. This joins the likes of the JW Marriott, which opened the year before. We have the Marriott Water Street as well. We have Roos Tampa, which opened last year, and that's our first full service um, apartment hotel, which opened in the downtown area. There's the Epicurean, which is our foodie focus hotel in High Buck. Uh, village which is being expanded because it's so popular a whole range of kind of hotels if you've got luxury um clients but of course we do have hotels to suit any type of traveler any type of budget so please do take a look at visit tampabay.com or car or get in contact with me or any one of the team and find out more about the different hotels. There's so many that I couldn't name check them all because I'm very conscious of time. But um, as you'll see here, we have The Current, which is in Ripley Point. We have Hotel Hire, which is a boutique hotel in Ebor City. You can, so you can stay in Ebor, Ebor City. Just loads to do. So absolutely um, do contact us and find out about the wide range of hotel accommodation we have. I am conscious of the time, um, but there are a few other things I need to mention. So shopping, I mean, obviously love to shop and Tampa offers some great opportunities, whether that's boutique shops in Hyde Park Village, which is a real kind of high end area with some fat fantastic shopping, um, great restaurants. Burns Steakhouse is actually there, which is a really renowned uh, steakhouse. So loads to do at Hyde Park Village 
great shops to be enjoyed. Whether you want to go to Tampa Premium Outlets and grab yourself a, a branded bargain, whatever that might be, or maybe go to a farmer's market or International Plaza. Now, International Plaza is really conveniently located next to Tampa International Airport. So it's great for a stop on the way back to the airport before an evening flight home. Absolutely great place to go. Um, as I mentioned before, um, Port Tampa Bay is right in the downtown area. It's literally minutes from the river walk. You can walk to the port or you could get an Uber if you want to, or a free streetcar, which is even better. We have streetcars in Tampa and they are completely free. So, um, Great op op option here because of the location in the downtown area for anyone looking for a cruise and stay. Um, literally fly into Tampa Airport, seven miles, then you're in the downtown, then you, they can hop onto the cruise. Um, we have three cruise lines sailing from um, Port Tampa Bay. We have uh, Norwegian, Royal Caribbean and Carnival, and they offer um, cruises to all sorts of destinations in the Caribbean, Mexico and beyond. So again, you might not know about this before, but really think about any if you've got any clients who want to do a cruise and stay, Tampa is a great option for you. I would be seriously remiss if I'd have done this presentation and not talked about our amazing attractions. Fantastic attractions across the destinations. Of course, we are home to Bush Gardens, who have recently announced their latest ride, which is the Serengeti Flyer that swings you around at 60 odd miles an hour. So amazing. But we have Zoo Tampa, the Florida Aquarium, which is going through a $40 million um, redevelopment all sorts of at Tampa Bay History Center, the Children's Museum, all sorts of uh, attractions for whatever type of traveler you have coming over. And these two passes are great um, options for you if you for adding value. So they can come over, try all these different attractions and really good value. Um, so that's a a must for anyone coming over. I, I have been quite brief here because I could talk for way too long. So I do encourage you to go to visittampabay.com slash academy for our travel agent training program. This has all the information I've talked about and more talking about accessibility, LGBTQ plus uh, travel, plus more hotel information, more restaurant information, more attraction information, because there's so much to talk about. So I really would urge you to go along to there um, to find out more. Or if you can scan this QR code, that, this will take you to visit tampabay.com. And there we have all sorts of information about everything I've been talking about, but also itinerary ideas, imagery, videos, whatever it might be that you um, need, you know, need. But I would say, please do contact us and to, to let us know what, um, what you need, anything that you need. We really are here. We'd love to welcome your clients, your customers out to Tampa Bay, but also we're very open to welcoming you to Tampa Bay so that you can get to understand the destination. You can see how, as I say, how it fits into any kind of Florida itinerary. We'd love to host you and we'd love to get to know you. So thank you so much for today. I hope that's been enjoyable for you. Um, and uh, yeah, look forward to hearing from you.